Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Rider Blocks where today we'll be showcasing Kuga, who is another not mirror world rider. He's from the ancient world. And in order to get him, we're gonna have to go over here and do a small series of quests. So the first guy we're gonna need is this Gaido character, and he's gonna ask us to find something important, which should be this card that is in the cave. You can just do this and teleport to the cave by clicking this neat little button here. And then, once I'm here, I can just uh, go the other way. But once we're here, we need to find his little card, which I'll show you that where I find it. Uh, is this connected to the force like I thought it was? Really quickly. Uh, yes, it was. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna go in here, and the card is right over here. So you're gonna talk to this, and you can grab this, and you can go back to him, and you can give that card to him. He will give you an ancient stone and three-dimensional fragments. But more importantly, once you get that. You need to talk to this guy named Joe, who I think we just passed, actually. Yeah, are you Joe? Yeah, you're Joe. He's like, oh, I think you guys are but He's gonna give us another quest, where we have to, uh, let's see. He wants us to fight Rin. Okay, so he wants us to fight this Rin spirit over here, right? So you can summon uh, them by using uh, the blank stones, right? Yeah, you need the blank stones, but you get those by, like, beating up this guy who you can only fight him in human or in kuga form and you get those then you can fight Rin. same rules with Rin, only in human or kuga form then you finish that quest so once you finish that quest you need to get the uh the daily quest for the may person right here who i still like do because i had to get all the stuff for kuga which is why this took so long because i had to get all the stones so you can do that daily quest and once you can do that daily quest, you can find Rin, who is, who I forgot, is all the way back at the beginner zone. Fantastic. So I'm going to have to go back to the beginner zone. And now I'm going to have to go and find them again, which should be in like the same relative same area. So we're going to go over in here and then I have to like snoop around a little bit for them and figure out where they are, which is always fun. And I totally just like don't know where they are is the thing. Oh my gosh. All right, let's see if I can figure out where they went. Okay, so up here, to the left, over here, and then they should be like, yeah, they're hiding behind here. So you can talk to them, and then you can get them the stuff you need to make Kuga, which you can finally get Kuga with this. Poof. So now you can you got Kuga. So that was just like a little bit of uh, chores. It was really just like going around. But anyway, now that you have Kuga, we can go ahead and start this. So, Kuga has some really interesting things regarding the Ancient Stone, because obviously there are all of his different forms now that I am not doing, because it's just normal Kuga, but that stone will tell you, like, everything you need for his other uh, abilities, but I'm not going to go over that until the end, because I have to be in human form to interact with that, and I'll lose, like, all my HP and everything, but for now, let's just uh, get into, like, the essentials. So, where are those normal moves? So let's fight these guys. So first of all, my M2, I'll actually pick up a rock and toss it at them, which is always fun. I didn't hit them, but you get the idea. <gasps> yeah. And that rock is really cool. My M1s are just the same. And I've got Mighty no. Surge, which I didn't do it correctly. So I, yeah, I gotta worry about Mighty Surge in a little bit. I think it's like what I do for combos. So it's like M1, M2, M1, M2 again. I don't know if that's one or not, but yeah, I don't know what the deal with that is. M1, 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 uh, M random M2, and then I do this, and then, oh, hey, it is one, and M1, M1, oh no, it's registering it right now, that's what it is, you hold it down, then it registers your combos. Yeah, I'll worry about that later on, but for now, I'm just, I'm just blindly throwing out my moves, okay? Mighty Surge just prepares you to use all of your moves right now. Okay, that's what it is. I'll do that like later because those are the moves I worked really hard to get. Uh, let's see, Mighty Switch, which is like a thing now. That's like the main thing that Kuga has. You can use those for your other forms, which... Wow, I can't use that either because I don't have the other form. I can't use that either. I don't have the other forms. Okay, well, Mighty Action, I guess. I have to combine first. Oh, okay. Wow. Hmm. Okay, well, I guess I am going over the first one. 
Okay, well, okay. Hmm. Okay, well, the first one is M1, M2, M1, M2. That's Mighty Kick. And I guess if I do Mighty Action, it'll go off. Yeah, there we go. Mighty Kick! There's that move. Like a Mighty Kick, I jump up and do a slam down. It's basically my Rider Kick. And then I have, oh, if I can set this up, M2, 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 M2. It's Mighty Slam. Just like a boom, big fat AOE. Okay. Very strong, very powerful. And then I've got another one which is similar to that. I've got M1, 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 M1. So, go, go, go. Go, go. This is Mighty Rushes. Which is just a, oh my gosh, yeah, that's a pretty mighty rush if I do say so myself. And then that's, uh, that's it, I think. It says I have Mighty Sightless, which is this move. Yeah, a little smack. Little smack a rune right there. I smite them with a lightning bolt, which paralyzes them. Did I do that or did? Yeah, I completely ignored that move because I was so taken aback by the other stuff. So we've got a rider kick, a barrage, and then the punchies. I think I like the punchies the most. But like this, this, this is gonna be impossible. This is impossible for me to use personally. I I could not use this no. And I do a lot of M1 damage, but like everything else is, I don't know, it's too much to manage. But yeah, there's that. Now I can talk about like how Kuga's Mighty Switch works, but uh, the other forms are like probably just going to be like a different video or something. Like I don't know if it'll all be one video or not, but it's, Kuga's very hard to grind, okay? Because you need the Lost Souls in order to do them and the stones, which you can basically only get like once a day because of the two quests that are on now, which is the Goons, Goon Operation, and then the, um, the May Quest. So that's how you do that right now, but basically we're gonna go over here, we're gonna talk to this as a human. So I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna do this, talk to this. The Ancient Stone will only accept me if I'm a human. Go up here to upgrade, you can, you know, upgrade all these in order to get your stuff. 10 Strength, 10 Dexterity, 5 Agility. Uh, I don't remember if my, uh, health and SP or something I need for my moves, but we'll check that in a second. But I know these are what I need for all my moves in normal Kuga. That's what I was grinding for. We go to skills, and these are what we have. Uh, yeah, those the only need you strength, dexterity, and agility for your normal Kuga moves. So you need 10 strength, 10 dexterity, and 1 agility for the slam. 10 strength, 1 dexterity, and 5 agility for the rush. And then 1 strength, 1 dexterity, and 1 agility for the kick. That's all you need. Alright. And then there are other skills for your other forms, such as the dragon skills, which is 5 dexterity, 5 uh, strength, and 5 agility. Then you need 5 strength, 5 dexterity, and 10 agility. And then 5 strength, 5 dexterity, and 10 agility. So you basically just need 10 agility, and 5 strength, and 5 dexterity in those. And this one, Pegasus, you need 4 strength, uh, 8 dexterity, and 10 agility. And 4 strength, 8 dexterity, and 10 agility. And these are all the, wow, these are all the same stats for all these moves. Pegasus, uh, Arrow Storm, Bolt, and Crossfire. Oh, alright, Saint Seiya. And then for Titan Slicer, it's just 10, 10, and 10. So it looks like at the end of the day, you're just going to need 10 in every stat to use this. Unfortunately for me, um, it looks like my agility is the last thing I decided to level. So I can't really do this, but that doesn't really matter. Because now if we go to Upgrade Forms... We're gonna need uh, five strength, five dexterity, uh, two uh, that, and then two HP, two special, I guess, and then 10 agility, get dragon form. I can't get that. And then 10 strength, uh, 10 dexterity, two special, 10 agility, and two HP to get titan form. I can't get that because I don't have 10 agility. And then four strength, eight dexterity, two special, 10 is. And agility, and then 2 HP to get Pegasus. Hey, I can't get that, because I don't have enough agility, because in order to do this video, I just need the last move, which is 10 dexterity, and I also need 10 agility, I don't, I can't get this, because I don't have Lost Souls anymore. So, that's fantastic. And Lost Souls are really annoying to grind, because in order to get them, you need to do, like, boss rush or stuff like that. Like, let me check the exact way to get them, which is also really skewed. You get them from the Mirror World boss rush, or you can use your, uh, your soul fragments, which is a complete scam, don't do that. The mirror world boss rush, and you literally only get like one of them per it, so it's really not worth it. So I wouldn't recommend it, but yeah, there's the um there's the there's the Kuga showcase that took me so long to do and I couldn't even like fully realistically pull it off, but you know, hey, I tried. 
So with that all said and done, as always, I hope you all like the game, favorite the game, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And as always, I will see you all in the next video.